Danny is not dying, guys. He's the healthiest person I know. His favorite junk food is raisins. Well, he has been hella emo lately. Also, also uh, he changed his will today, and he bought a gravestone? Okay, where is everyone? I'm signing for packages out here. Change that, Morgan. Hurry, what are you guys doing? That. What's up? Morgan, I told you, I'm not buying lunch anymore, okay? The last time you ordered a t-shirt from the deli. It has come to my attention that there is a, a problem in the office. I found a stray dog. I kept him here for three nights. He had these soulful eyes. I was not gonna leave him at the quarry. No, it's not about the dog. That's a bad thing, so don't do that either. You know what this is about. Is this about the other dog? No. Because that is a bad dog. We're making changes around the office. Changes, schmanges, like what? Like this little flea bag here for patient therapy. I hate that dog. You are already naming him in your head. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I have not. I am not naming him. I don't like you, Bones. I don't like him. Oh, wow. You guys are great together. I don't like these little soft little highs, and he's going to fall asleep my hand. Oh, God, you little angel from heaven. That's a dirty trick. Jeremy. Jeremy! What was that? What was that? He's been planning this gauze meeting for weeks. He texted me last night at 3 a.m. Tomorrow's G day. Here's the deal, brother. When you're in love, you do whatever the girl wants. I have given a first date a kidney on more than one occasion. So. Tides of Tomorrow, only the best soap opera ever made, is casting for a biracial baby. Guess who I'm the mom of? Okay, um, I'm just gonna say this. Being a child star is not all it's cracked up to be. I mean, when I was a child, I was trapped in three different wells. Never even got an agent. I've never been more humiliated in my entire life. This was meant to be my love letter to America, but it ended like every love letter I've ever written, with the authorities being called. Listen, listen, I got, I got some news for you, buddy. The New York Times was here, and they thought it was really great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, wh which critic? Was it, was it Ben Brantley? Oh, my God. Was it Alessandra Stanley? I think it was Virgil Krug. He's uh, the crime reporter. He said it was the best arson he's ever seen. It's gone. I don't know where it is. It's a symbol of my love for you. Oh. But, yeah. Oh, my God. Did you buy Tamara an engagement ring? Oh, no, I'm out of town for the wedding, whenever it is. No, no, it was a charm bracelet from the drugstore. But it's three months' salary down the drain. My God, we pay you so little. Hello? I'm on a poster for a poverty campaign. I have not always been this charismatic chick magnet that stands before you. Really? You know what I've been called? Annoying. They made a movie about me on Lifetime called Unbearable, The Morgan Tucker Story. Whoa. I've been called a lot of stuff. Intolerable. Bad storyteller. The worst thing ever on the Lifetime Network. Dr. P, I found Owly, and I wrapped him in a towel leaf. I think we should keep him. Wait, what, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? Dr. P? Dr. P? Where are you going? No! He's flying south! Mindy, you have a boyfriend. You're being emotionally unfaithful. I just don't like the idea of you emailing some rando on the internet. It's not safe. I think that... Wait, this is your email address? I thought it was Mindy's second account in Hotmail. I'm happy for Danny. We both moved on. Hey, good for you. Now Dr. C can get his blushing bride, and you are gonna go on one of those spinster cruises to the Galapagos. You're gonna meet a bunch of old gals. You're gonna have fun. Oh, maybe you fall off the rail. Big lawsuit. Uh, Morgan, where did you find that milk and hot dog? Oh, well, I'm not gonna pay $12 for brunch. Highway robbery. <laughs> so I uh, found this great little cafe across the street called the New Mexico Anti-Hunger Coalition for the Disabled. All I had to do was answer a few questions. This was free. I'll write you a prescription for a very strong sedative. I take it whenever I have to do something scary, like watch a scary movie, or if I hear a scary story, or, you know, et ca, et ca, et ca. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? You say it both ways. All right. Let me show you Morgan's poetry corner right here. <clears throat> There's a little something I can work on. Digital overload, social media mother load. Verizon, you don't own me. Verizon, release me from your roaming and anytime fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to that show. Yeah, we are. Mm hmm. Can, Can I, I borrow 10 bucks for a ticket? ticket? Jinx. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Jinx, you owe me two Cokes. Cokes. Okay, I don't have that kind of money. Um, I'm particularly intrigued by your background as a reformed criminal. Did you ever learn to, say, pick locks? That was my specialty. They used to call me the Loch Ness Morgan. <laughs> Mostly because I would show up blurry in photographs. Look, I told Jessica that Jeremy was gonna fire you because she was gonna dump you. I was just trying to buy you some time. Why would she dump me? Was she intimidated by my intelligence? Look at this. 
They pay me to work here, they don't pay me to like it. <laughs> yeah, isn't that poster funny? I actually don't think I get it. I mean, British humour is obviously a lot more subtle. Have you guys seen the farting vicar? <laughs> What's not to get? The cows represent us, and what they're saying represents how we feel. Well, as long as you're all enjoying yourselves. Oh my god, I had it all wrong. I just thought it was funny because he's got a briefcase. Hey. Huh, God! What do you think about this shirt? Is this good for Dr. Z's welcome drinks? I got it at Barney's warehouse sale. Do you remember my friend Barney? My neighbor, no teeth? Moved in a warehouse. Uh, What's wrong? How come you're not wearing your lunch sweats? I'm a little worried, Morgan. I saw Danny's mom in the oncology wing. Oh. Well, the hospital's a big place. It's very easy to get lost. The other night, I followed the sound of laughter to the morgue. No one was there. Here's the deal. I have hand-selected a dog for each of you based on your appearance and personality. Wait, what? You think I look like this joker? His name is Tiny, and you two are basically the same. Morgan, I have to be honest. I was initially angry that you turned this meeting into a no-kill shelter, but then you gave me Penelope. We're in love. Hey, what's the hold up here? I came all the way from the suburbs to meet for this job. Sorry, sir, but the suburbs aren't that far. The suburbs of Philadelphia. I need to be back there at five o'clock for my daughter's cheer competition. Brenda says I have to bring the juice. I'm gonna handle this one for you, boss. You're really annoying the lady, and you gotta leave. Look, I came all this way, I'm interviewing, so take this and go get me a cup of coffee. The button hurt my cheek. You didn't really take care of that, did you? Do you wanna go with me right now and get Chinese food? Because I know this restaurant, they have such huge portions that people walk out of the restaurant, they, they just give you their leftovers. They can't finish them. So they think you're homeless? No, you get the... Le oh. Yeah, yeah, come on. I love you. Careful, careful. What are you... Let's <laughs> get right here. Has that been there the entire time? Yeah, I shouldn't have brought him, but I don't know where I end and he begins.